Hey, found the solo page. God bless you. Mike Burris here. Um, really fun doing drum solos. You don't get a lot of chance to do drum solos. You do in drum circles a lot. Um, it's really fun. But that's, that's really an extended break where when everybody gets real quiet, then you can play over the top of them. And so I talk about this. I don't get a chance to do very much because most bands don't want to hear drummers, no matter how good they are. And um, so, you know, I used to judge drum solos for Guitar Center, so I know something about it. Um, they would win all these things, and I would be one of the, drug, the, the uh, judges. There was just two of us for the longest time, and then they added more judges, make it more authentic, whatever. We got some other people to volunteer time, I think. So, uh, you know, we didn't get paid for it. So I hope you can learn some things from my drum solo videos. Um, I think they need to be real tasteful, and I'll share more out there on those videos. And uh, But I do enjoy it. I think it has to come from a lot of playing, um, a lot of creativity, a lot of using your imagination, playing in time, out of time, using a metronome, coming back in on time uh, if you go out of time learning how to really feel drumming and, and make it melodic, make it like a song. You're sharing a song out on your drums, you know. And so a lot of it comes from just years of doing gigs and f doing fills. And, the, and in the, a drum solo is really just an extended fill, you know. But it's really about singing. That's why I teach a lot about counting and singing. So it's really about singing. So go look at the notation file about counting singing because it's about singing into your drums. Your drums become an extension of your voice because if you can sing and it sounds good to you, you're probably not going to create something that's, that doesn't sound good to you singing. But if it comes out and you're singing, it's probably going to sound pretty good. And then the drums become an extension of your singing. Now I can put that on on my drum set. If I can sing it, I'm, and I've trained my body to play what I say, play what I say, play what I say. So I get used to my body just being an extension of my voice. And then it, it sounded good to me. So the more you do this, it comes out and it's not such a hard thing. I'm not I went from one and a two and into the right brain, which is thinks a lot faster than counting math. So you gotta get over to the right brain. That's my biggest suggestion. So watch and listen to the videos on counting and singing in those pages on notation and get to that point even in all your practice uh, so I'm playing rudiments so let, let me uh, play a double parallel so say it one and two and three and 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 one. So that's left brain. Then you can sing the counting. One and two and three and 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 one and two and three. So I put a little umph on the one, right? Because that's the way I want it to sound. One and two and three and one and two and three. So I was singing it. Now I go into just I was singing the counts. Now I'm going to go just into the counting, the singing. So I'm singing. Now I can sing along to a, a song and, and use that like an Afro-Cuban music or something. And, and then it fits, because now I'm used to singing 
and when I can sing along to the song that I'm playing, and, and it, it'll go, oh, that's what you want to play. So your body will just end up playing what you sing. And then you train it to do this so long, it just comes out. So that, that's what I would say to do when it comes to soloing. Okay, God bless you.